Hi, Red Z Ice Four here again, and this is Abercrombie and Fitch rant part five. Yesterday, I watched a video from some chick who's black, by the way, some black chick I saw, who talked about an incident where she was greeted. She was greeting a district manager at a Abercrombie and Fitch. She happens to work at Abercrombie and Fitch. Apparently, get this, you're gonna love this. They had a huge problem because of her hairstyle. Okay. You're wondering why the fuck are they complaining about her hairstyle? Because Abercrombie feels that if you have they believe in all natural. So you can't have clothes you can't have hairstyles that is high in fashion. You have to have it normal. Or what they consider normal being the douchebag look. Because apparently in the rule book, and I'm surprised that there is a rule book out there for Abercrombie because I'm going to take a, a page off of Big Al about this when he did the Jesus Camp rant, where when I think of Abercrombie and Fitch Handbook, I think of the front cover, the back cover, and one, fr one page saying, be a complete asshole. Anyway, she goes on to say that she was told that she's not allowed to have cornrows or her hair resembles somewhat of a mohawk, which is also forbidden at Abercrombie because they think mohawks are bad people. They think everyone who wears a mohawk is evil. So apparently, Mr. T and Road Warrior Animal are evil to, to Abercrombie. Congratulations, Abercrombie and Fitch. You just told a black chick to cut her hair because it's not to your liking. Why won't you just come out and say it? Why won't you just come out and say it? They, you wanted to fire her because she was black. That was the only reason why you hired her in the first place. Because she was a black woman. And, you try, and your, and your um, store was trying to prove that they're not racist by hiring her. Get this, numb nuts. You, you are racist for hiring her for being black. Now you're trying to fire her for being black. Oh, man. You, you guys, don't, you guys never amaze me. You, you guys never stop amazing me. You fire a chick because she has a prosthetic arm. You fire a chick because she's Muslim. You fire, now, now you're getting a problem over some girl who has, a, who has a certain hairstyle and you're telling her to cut her hair? Wow, Abercrombie. Wow. You are fucking geniuses. You guys are fucking geniuses. All right, and and I'm not gonna. I am. I am never going to stop hating your store. Never. So, this has been um Red ZX4. Uh, let me just say this few things before I go. Don't go to Abercrombie. Go to American Eagle, Eblins. Hell, I found out Hollister's is owned by um, Abercrombie, so don't go there. I'm going to take back the Hollister shit. Go to Old Navy. Just go to those other stores other than Abercrombie, okay? And also, Abercrombie, um, whoever lives with ignorance will die by ignorance. And your store is nothing but ignorant people, okay? And then part six and seven. Part six, I'm just going to buy the catalog from Abercrombie. Yes, I'm going to go to the Accursed store to get the catalog. And also, I'm going to go to American Eagle to get me some clothes from there and the catalog from there as well to compare prices to Abercrombie and American Eagle. And in part seven, it's pretty much going to be the final rant on Abercrombie. Um, I might do another part doing a wrap-up of that. I might do another, um, I might do a part A to do a wrap-up of the rest. So, this has been Red ZX4. I'm out.